Good evening, Aisha. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening. Last question was the fourth one. Read me the fifth, uh, sixth one, fifth and sixth one. Hmm. Uh, I buy a TV for ten thousand rupees. This one. Yes, ma. Oh. Ma, for that, um, uh, I got the answer. Uh, hmm. For that, I got the answer as ten thousand, uh, twenty. Uh, no, wrong. Okay, let me do it. Don't worry. No, did it. you say from the starting? Yes, I will be starting starting from the starting. Okay? I have not taught anything. We were just discussing. Okay. So, let's just wait for one minute. One more minute if Tashin joins and then I'm going to start. Okay, then let me note down this. I will do this question. Don't worry. 20%. So... Uh, how will you get to 1,000? Okay, don't worry, don't worry. I will do it. Okay? So, you people can note this down. This question, you can note in notebook and then we'll start. Okay? Okay, ma'am. Okay, everybody is here, right? So let's just start. Okay, now you will not say anything, only I'll say. Okay, and then you people will, oh yes, you will say yes or no, right? And only listen. Okay, fine. Okay, okay ma'am. Hmm. So over here, yes. I buy a TV for 10,000, right? This means 10,000, right? So over here, they have just bought it for 10,000. So that means what is given to you? CP is given to you, right? Because cost prices at this, you are buying and then you are selling. So when you buy something, that is known as cost price. And then when you sell something, that is known as selling price, right? So your CP is 10,000. And then what you did, you made a profit of 20%, right? So over here, how much money do I get for it, right? So first of all, this, right now, what they did, they told you that 20% of this you got like this and they don't know at what price you sold out, right? 10,000 is this. So this is, you don't know anything over here, right? So first of all, what you need to find, you need to find the profit in addition. Yes or no? Percentage is given. So first you will find profit in terms of rupees, right? Only then. For example, see, this is easy or this is easy. For example, you bought something for 10 rupees and you got the profit of 2 rupees, right? So automatically, you sold it for the 12 rupees, that means, right? But here, I told you, you bought it for 10 rupees and you got 2% profit. So this you have to first find in numbers, in rupees, right? So first, let's just find this profit in rupees. For this, you have two methods. You can find 20% of 10,000 or you can find the profit through the formula, right? So, I will be doing the both the method to find the profit. This is not profit percentage. This is profit. Profit percentage is different, right? And profit is different, okay? So, profit percentage is given to you. You have to find the profit. Two methods you can use to find profit. First, you can do 20% of 10,000. Yes, so 20 percentage means divided by 100 multiplied by 10,000, right? So these two zero and these zero get cancelled. That means this 2,000 rupees profit he made. Yes, and the other way to find profit is, you know the formula for profit percentage? 
equals to profit divided by CP multiply by 100, right? So what is your profit? You don't know, right? But profit percentage is 20. So you will take X, right? And CP was 10,000, yes, and 100. So 20 and 20 got cancelled here. 20 equals to X divided by 100, right? So when this is in multi divide division, then it will go here. It will be in multiplication. So it will be 2000 X. What was X? This is your profit. So you have two methods to find it. Either you can find the profit through this method or you can find it through this method. Okay. Then, so you got this. So in the question, what they are saying, how much money do I get for it? So he, this one is asking you the total money you got. So that means you have to See, total money what you got will be C, uh, will be your selling price, right? This will be your selling price, right? So cost price was, how will you find the selling price? Cost price plus your profit, right? So cost price was 10,000, yes. And in this 10,000, you earn the profit of 2,000. So when you add it, you get 12,000 rupees. Fine. Yes or no? Clear? So profit percent, you have to write it as 20%, right? Yes. No, this is not profit percentage. This is only simple profit. Your SP is selling price is cost price, right? Plus your profit. If it is loss, then cost price minus loss. Now I'm telling when we find the profit. Hmm. Uh, the profit percent you wrote as 20, but it should be 20 by 100. No, they have not given you 20%. They have just given you percent. This is profit percent. So profit percent means 20 only. Okay, ma'am. Right, because they have given you in the percentage, right? Yes, ma'am. So, that means this will be 20 only. Right? Because if I will write 20% 100 here, then what is the profit? Right? So, whenever the profit percentage is given to you, that means you have to simply write it like this. Okay? So, now I am making you understand the, other, the same question again. Right? The question was that, for example, I means... You buy the TV for 10,000 rupees and sell it at the profit of 20%. Right? How much money do I get for it? So that means, for example, this is a shopkeeper. He bought it for 10,000 rupees. Right? And then he made a profit of 20%. Okay? Then you have to tell how much money the shopkeeper get. That means selling price. Right? So first you need to find the profit in terms of money. So, what you did, you can do it like this, 20% of 10,000. So, from here, 20% means 100, off means multiply 10,000. Two zeros and two zero got cancelled. What is left? 20 multiply by 100. So, 2,000, right? So, 10,000 rupees was the cost price plus you added this 2,000, right? So, that means... 12,000 is the total money this shopkeeper got. Aisha, is it clear? Yes, ma'am. Sure? Yes, ma'am. So, so now you can do it. I am just giving you time to note it down in your notebook. See, what you have to do, first question you have written, you will write given. What is given to you? CP is given and profit percentage is given. You have to find profit. So you will write profit don't know and you have to find sp right you can write this one method or this method right anyone which you feel like is easy right you will find it and this is this will be a profit and then the next step would be this okay first step is this and the second step is this
Ma'am, can you please scroll it down? Thank you. Students done? Yes or no? Yes, ma'am. Aisha, you are also done? Aisha? No, ma'am. Okay, okay, we do it, do it. Then, ma'am. Okay. Now, I'm going to give you the same question like this. Okay. Mm. So, for example, summer buy a car for 20,000 and sell it at a profit of 10%, how much money do Sama get for sorry. 
comma get for it. Fine. Yes or no? Yes. Hmm. Quickly do this question and then tell me the answer.
tên mà Okay, we'll just wait for Aisha to finish, then we'll just finish. Okay, so let's just discuss the answer. Okay, so Aisha will tell me the answer step by step. So, first few people did is 10% off of 20,000, right? Or any other way. I am just finding the profit. Okay, you can use the other way. So, what was the profit? Tell me, Aisha. 20% profit profit 1000 hmm. so 10 divided uh, what is the profit 1000 sorry hmm tell me tell me ma'am the profit is 10% no 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 answer that is profit percentage oh what is the profit? When you find um, the profit, what do you got, Aisha? Ma'am, can I? Wait, wait, wait. Aisha, tell me. Uh, hmm? I can't hear you. I'm 1,000. Uh, how? Tell me. Step how one, 20% 20 of 10,000. Uh, why 20% 20, why 20 of 10,000? What was the question? Sum up uh, for a car for 20,000 and sell it at a profit of 10,000. 10, mm -hmm. How much so money will you will do? You will do 10% of 20,000, right? Yes, ma'am. So, what do you got after doing 10% of 20,000? 20, Tell me. 20,000? Yes. 20,000, right? 10 upon 100 multiplied by 20,000. So, so 0 and 0, 2, 0 got cancelled with 2, 0. So, this and this, right? 2,000 yeah. everybody got? Naisha? Huh? What you got? Uh, 2,000. Hmm. And then, what was the selling price? Uh, the selling price is... Wait, 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 wait. Aisha. Aisha, tell me. What was the cost price, Aisha? Tell me. 20,000. 20,000? How? 
the cost price was twenty thousand, right? The cost price was twenty thousand. Yes. So twenty thousand hmm, plus profit was profit was two thousand. Hmm. So what you got in total? Twenty. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Aisha will tell me. Ten. How ten? When you add twenty thousand and two thousand, what you get, Aisha? Ten two thousand. Yes. So what you got, Na Aisha? Two thousand. Two thousand. Twenty two thousand. Okay. Yes. Okay. I'm going to give the same question, and Aisha, you have to follow the same steps. This time, I don't want any a mistake. Fine. If you didn't get it, let me know. I will explain you again. Do you get it, this portion or not? Aisha. Yes. Sure. So this time, no mistake. Okay. So let's just take Sam bought a mobile phone for Rupees forty thousand. Okay. He made a profit of twenty percent. Find the total money he got. Fine.
Uh, students, can you see my screen? What, ma'am? Can you see my screen? Yes, ma'am. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, Tashin, wherever you Ma'am, I lost time and I was eating food also. Okay, okay. So, Tashin, this is a question. Try doing it. Yes, ma'am. Then Ma'am, I have a doubt. Yes. Um, ma'am, now I solved ex uh, exercise 8.3, the homework mm. which you gave. Mm. Uh, so in that, there was a question, in uh, if in a stake of chalk, carbon is 3G, mm. what is the weight of the chalk stick? Mm. So I can't understand the question. Okay, after this, I will do that question only. Okay, okay. ma'am.
Done, ma'am. Okay, so what do you people got for this? A Sam bought a mobile phone for rupees 40,000. Right? So first of all, 20% of 40,000. Yes? So 20 by 100. Into 40,000. Cut two zeros. That will leave you to 8,000. 8,000. Uh, so SP is equal to CP plus profit. That will also be equal to 8,000 plus 40,000, which is equal to 40, 48,000 48, rupees. Yes. Okay. Fine with everybody? Yes. Aisha and Aisha, Tashin. Everybody fine? Yes, Aisha, you are also fine with this? Yes, ma. Okay. Uh, now, we are going to do this one, right? A question which I gave for homework. Okay, let me just cut it. Um, Ma'am, can we discuss the an answers of the homework? Yes, I am going to discuss. First one I have already discussed, no? Yes, ma'am. I discussed this one. See, the question says, a chalk container contains calcium, carbon and oxygen in the ratio. Ratio means 10 ratio, percent. 3 ratio, 12. Find the person. The first thing is, I will add this. 10 plus 3 plus 12. What will I get? 25. Tell me. 25. 25? Okay. Sorry, sorry. Hmm. Carbon, 25. 3 so minus this, 25. 10 by 25 multiply by 100. For this, it would be 3 upon 25 multiplied by 100. For this, it would be 12 upon 25 multiplied by 100. So, after this, you can solve it like this. By 25, 300 by 25 and this, 1200 by 25. When you will solve this, what you will get? 12. Okay, okay, okay. Wait, wait, wait. Sorry. In the question, they are only asking you to find the percentage of carbon. So, no need to do all this. Percentage of carbon is given calcium, carbon and oxygen. So, 10... Uh, the first one three. will be calcium, right? Second one will be the carbon. Yes? 25. So number 12 is carbon. Hmm. Only the carbon. Right? So, what is carbon? Uh, see, contains calcium, carbon, oxygen. So, first one will be calcium, second one will be carbon, and third one will be oxygen. Fine? Yes, ma. Fine? Yes, ma. Yes, okay. ma. So, it would be 3000 divided by 25. So, what you will get? 12%. 12%? Ma. Yes, 12%. Right? Now, the second part says, in if in a stick of chalk, carbon is 3 kg, what will be the weight of chalk stick? Right? So, over here, what they are asking, if in a stick, the carbon is for 3 kg. Right? The carbon is for 3 kg. So, you have to find the weight. Okay? So, how do I do it, ma'am? So, basically, over here, you don't know the weight. Right? You don't know the weight, right? So, let's just take the weight B X. Let's take the weight equals to x. Right? Yes. Fine. Now, this uh, you have only one thing which is 12%. So, 12%, 12 by 100 multiply by x equals to what? 3? Yes. Yes, so, 3 gram was the total thing, right? And see, 12% of something is equal to 3 gram, right? So, 12 upon 100 multiplied by x equals to 3. Now, this it will happen like this, 12x by 100 equals to 3. Now, this 100 will go this side. It will be 12x equals to 3 multiplied by 100. So, it would be 12x equals to 300. 
x would be 300 by 12. Yes. What you will get after this when you will solve it? 25. Right? 12 twos are and then 5s are. So, x equals to 25. So, this is the weight. Fine. So, 12 gram, 25 gram would be your? Yes, gram. Okay. So, the weight is 25 gram. Fine. Everybody? Aisha? Yes. Fine. So, first what you have to find? You have to find the percentage of carbon. You find the percentage. Then, but you don't know the weight. So, the 12% of X. 12% of X is 3 gram. Right? So, I think after this, you know how to solve it. Right? So, 12% of X equals to 3. You got value of X and this is the weight. Fine with everybody? Yes, this not the first part. Okay, the answer was 12% and this is your second part. So, quickly note it up, the first part and the second part, then I'll show you. I didn't understand how is the total weight of the chalk 20. This one? Uh, yes, 25. 25 grams. What they said in the question, see, in if in a stick of chalk, carbon is 3 kg. Right? So, over here, this is, this is a stick of chalk. Right? And the carbon over here is 3 kg. Right? 3 grams, sorry. So, what is the weight of chalk stick? You have to find the chalk stick. So, you don't know the weight of chalk stick. Let's just take it X. Right? Yes? Yes, so ma'am. Now, 12% of this is 3 kg. Why I am writing 12? Because carbon was 12, right? Yes. Or no? How was carbon? Oh, okay. It's carbon got it. Oh, no? Carbon we found. Yes. Carbon was 12. That's why you are taking 12. Because in the second question, they have chalk and carbon. Right? Chalk and carbon, they have C. Chalk and carbon. Chalk and carbon will make 3 gram. Right? So, over here, but you don't know the chalk one. So, but you carbon, you know. So, 12% of chalk is 3 gram. Clear? So, from here, X is your chalk. Okay? And then you will find it like this. Did you get it now, Aisha and Aisha? Huh. Okay. So, quickly note it up because we are in the Okay? Okay. Okay, everybody done? 